In this movie, we will look at a new feature introduced in StarDraw Design 7.1, which offers the ability to link text objects to the attribute values that are stored in product records. So we begin with a completed drawing, and if we zoom in and select this symbol, which is representing an Allen & Heath GL2000, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen in the Properties grid that there are a number of attributes. The names of those attributes are shown in the left, and the values of those attributes are shown on the right. So we have, for example, a room attribute whose value is control room. So how do we show this in the symbol itself? Well, by using the unlock cursor, this cursor mode allows us to select any object within a symbol. So the unlock cursor effectively ignores grouping and the hierarchy of any collection of objects, drills down and selects the object that you click on. And this is just a piece of text, and now you can see in the properties grid all of the properties of that text object, as you would expect, things like the font, the size, whether it's bold, the color, and the text of the text object itself, which currently is multifunction console. Now, with StarDraw Design 7.1, there is a new property called Text Attribute, and this allows us to select from any of the attributes that are stored in the product instance. And in this case, I'm going to select the Room Attribute, and this creates a link between the text object and the attributes of its parent product instance. So now, going back to the normal selection cursor, you can see that we've selected now this uh, symbol. And if we update the room value, let's say we're going to move this mixer into the foyer, and you can see that that text object is now updated with the current value of the room attribute. So that's one way in which you can link the text within symbols to the values of the attributes for the products that that symbol represents. Now that we know how to link text to attribute values in existing symbols, let's say that you want to create a new kind of a symbol that has a permanent link to an attribute value. Well, for this, we would use a user-defined product. So I'm going to drill down into my UDP library and you'll notice here that we have a product called an RR001 widget. And let's say that I want to include one of its attribute values at the top of the symbol. Let's say we want to take the room attribute. Well, for this, we will simply edit the UDP symbol. So right-click on the UDP, choose Edit Symbols, and this puts us into the Symbol Editor which you can recognize because there's this gray background and there's a tab now for each available template for which a symbol could be created. So, all I'm going to do is add a new text object. Let's put it about here. And to link text in a UDP symbol to an attribute, all you do is put in a pair of square brackets this tells StarDraw Design 7.1 that this is going to be an attribute reference. And then put in the name of the attribute. In this case, we're going to link the text to the room attribute. That's all we have to do. So I shall save this UDP symbol, close it, and now drag that UDP into the drawing. And you can see that new text object as part of the UDP symbol. And when I release the mouse button, the text object disappears because at the moment the room attribute has no value. So let's change this. Let's say that this product is actually in the rack room and when I enter that attribute value the value is displayed as part of the symbol. If I make copies of this symbol the attribute value is copied as well and this powerful feature allows me to do something like this simply select all of those product instances, set a new value, 
and now my custom symbol with the bound text objects updates with the new attribute values. So it's actually very, very simple to link a text object within your own custom data to any attribute that might exist within that product. So, to round up, if you have an existing symbol in a document and you want to link one of the text objects in that symbol to an attribute value, you can use the unlock cursor to select the text and assign the text attribute to the attribute that you want. Or, in a UDP symbol, simply right-click, choose Edit Symbols, and then add a text object with the attribute name enclosed in square brackets. Then whenever you use that symbol and set an attribute value, that will be displayed on the symbol in the document. And that is the new feature, binding text objects to attribute values. Thank you.